shoulder brown, good looking. Our team for the day will be no more advanced person. We are in Uganda too, city, 5th day of September 2024. According to the law 2022, cancer is the leading cause of death globally. The world cancer burden is unsubstantial and is growing with 20 million new cases and 9.7 million deaths in 2022 was recognized. Approximately 70% of cancer deaths occur in the low and middle income countries. Estimates suggest that by 2030, cancer deaths around the world will increase to 13 million people. In Uganda, there were 35,968 new cases which were registered with 24,629 death cases. And out of that, 10% of these cases were children aged 0 to 14 years. Cancer of the cervix and breast cancer accounted for 28% and prostate cancer was 7.5%. That is according to the statistics of 2022. The Cancer Institutes of Uganda in 2023 reported that they received over 700 new cases of cancers among children. Cancers in children are highly curable if detected early and if treated with adherence. Records indicate that only 7,400 cancer patients make it for a comprehensive cancer treatment at Uganda Cancer Institute in Kampala. The majority of patients either do not start treatment or abandon treatment along the way due to financial difficulties or system and social barriers or limitation, limited information about risk and early signs of cancer. Alternative medicines that are within the patient's reach community, myths, misconceptions, and stigma surrounding cancer contribute to this number. In addition, study shows that about 30% of cancers are treatable and curable with early detections through increasing timely and adherence to treatment. 30% are preventable with behavioral and lifestyle changes, just as consumption of poor, proper diet, physical exercises, increased foods and vegetables intake in our diet, no tobacco or alcohol use. Considering the rising trends of uh, global and local cancer crisis, and according to World Health Organizations, there is call for actions through the Global Breast Cancer Initiative, the Global Ca Initiatives on Childhood Cancers, and Global Strategies for Eliminating Eliminations of Survival Cancer, Uganda Women's Cancer Support Organization, named it uh, OCASO, in partnership with Afron, Oncology for Africa, Uganda Child Cancer Foundation, St. Mary's Hospital La Chole, and Soltel are organizing a cancer awareness bicycle ride on Sunday 8th, September 2024 at Kaunda Grounds, Gulu City, to re-echo the importance of physical exercises in cancer prevention and to offer free cervical, breast, childhood cancer awareness and examinations like prostate screening to the public. I therefore invite ministries and their agencies, the Uganda Cancer Institute, the media development partners, corporate bodies, cancer survivors and patients, well-wishers, and other general publics in 
to join Okaso and his partners in this noble event. What can we can you do as a person? You are registering for the we are registering people for the cancer awareness bicycle ride on Sunday, September 2024 at Kahuna Grand Bull City. Supporting the cancer awareness work by buying a pink ribbon and donating for the noble cause. We therefore call people to go for breast, cervical, and prostate cancer screening and awareness to places that are providing these services. And as well, support the event. The Ocaso and Consortium's partners have been actively addressing the, the care gaps for cancer patients through a series of impactful initiatives. We are placing a significant emphasis on raising awareness about cancer prevention, early detections, and satisfying myths and misconceptions surrounding cancer. We are also we have conducted extensive awareness campaign reaching diverse communities across all the regions, ensuring that vital information reaches those who need, need it most. Focus also offer a range of support services, which includes counseling, providing food and transport to patients who need them, especially those from upcountry, among others. Thank you.